brick mold and they must match perfectly. You don't go to Revelation and take, make Revelation about sea, but the Bible here is talking about a sea. Revelation, the bear that's Russia, let's make that one Russia, and let's make that one communism, and let's make that one whatever we want. That's why there's so much interpretation out there. So that's the seven heads. They are all at the same time. The woman rules from the desert with her false religion. It's a city that rules this all of them, everything, all the harlotry towards these nations is coming from the desert. Now, the woman has a cup of wine in her hand. And the kings of the earth are drunk from this wine. It has this in abundance. Okay? The abundance of her delicacies. And the earth is drunk and the wax rich. As a result, something ringing a bell in your antennas? It's both. And that oil causes also the blood of the saints to be shed. This is why in Joel 3, when you go to Joel 3, it talks about the judgment, right? When God judges the nations, what do he judge them for? In Joel 3, he tells them. Joel 3, I will gather all nations into it, right? We just, we just expressed that one. On the account of my people, my heritage, Israel. He judges the world for dividing Israel and mistreating the, the Jewish people. Look what it says. Verse 3. They have cast lots for my people. Have given a boy as payment for a what? Harlot. What's the woman riding the beast? She's what? Harlot. She's the harlot of Babylon. The prostitute. And sold the girl for what? Why? The prostitute and the wine is in the same verse in Joel chapter 3. And then he goes on verse 4. Indeed, what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Sidon? Lebanon, Hezbollah. Christ is on earth talking to Hezbollah, saying, who are you to mess with me? Do you think you stand a chance? That's what he's saying. And all the coasts of Philistia, Gaza, Hamas, Hamas, Hezbollah, you want to mess with me? That's what he's saying. What religion are they? Muslim. What countries are those? Muslim. You Americans created us Hamasistan over there by your Oslo Peace Accord. Thanks, but no thanks. All the kings of the earth commit harlotry with who? Are they committing harlotry with the Pope? Who's saying Islam is a peaceful religion? We're sorry. Even the Pope. He goes to make men's in Turkey. Sorry. You tell me what that's all about. By peace he will deceive many. Who's telling you that Islam is a peaceful religion? All over the place. That's all they talk about. Islam is a peaceful religion. Islam was hijacked. I turned on the TV in 9-11. There were planes that were hijacked. And by the time it was all over, the officials and the politicians told us that it was Islam that was hijacked. I'm confused. Which one was hijacked? The jumbo jets or Islam? And if somebody hijacked Islam, what was the ransom? If there is a ransom, guess what? I ain't paid it. Let them hijack it. The confusion that you're living under. Everybody's believing everything's hunky-dory. <laughs> Verse 17 in uh, Joel 3, even so you shall know that I am the Lord your God dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Verse 19, Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom a desolate wilderness because of violence against the people of Judah. Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. Look at verse 21. For I will acquit them from the guilt of the bloodshed whom I had not acquitted for the Lord dwells in Zion. Verse 16. The Lord also will roar from Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. The heavens and the earth will shake at his presence. And these countries he's fighting in every single context, every single place where Christ fights. And it's very clear that God is on earth. The nations are Muslim. 
Here's the confusion. Wait a minute, Walid. We have a problem. Because the feet are iron, and that's the Roman Empire. Well, yes, it's the Roman Empire. But what part of the Roman Empire is the Bible talking about? So the question is, the coming entity that is going to come and wreak havoc on the earth, is it a revival of an Egyptian empire? Yes. Yes. Not no. Is it a revival of an Assyrian empire? Yes. Is it a revival of a Babylonian empire? Yes. Is it a revival of the Persian empire? Yes. Grecian, yes. Roman, yes. Now, we got to the sixth Rome, right? Who's the seventh? Yes. <laughs> Who is the seventh? Five have fallen. Look at that. In chapter 17 of Revelation, there are also seven kings. Five have fallen. Verse 10. One is, the other has not yet come. Ah, there's a number seven here. Who's number seven? You remember we talked about the star? You know, Satan is as a star that fell from heaven. An asteroid. You know, in, in Acts chapter 9, it talks about asteroid worship. What is the black stone? An asteroid. That fell from the skies. And in Acts chapter 19, it talks about, to the believers, it says, Do not worship Artemis and her image that fell from heaven, from Zeus. And that was an asteroid, literally an asteroid. A black stone that they worshipped in Ephesus in Turkey.